Hello everyone. Hey, this is Pastor Daniel. I'm just coming to you live with the PDJ, which is Prayer, Devotion, and Journaling, uh, which is just our weekly devos. Um, we're doing them live, and then what we're doing is we're recording them, and then we'll also post it on our YouTube and on our devotions page, uh, where we go to peakworship.com, select on the devotions page or the PDJ um, Prayer, Devotion, Journaling, and you can um, hook up with uh, that page online, and, and we're gonna have it again. So if you do miss it live, We'll have it on the um, PDJ page, uh, just click it, and we'll also have it through social media and YouTube, so make sure that you like us through um, the peak worship and everything. So, so, But I want to come to you today with the PDJ, the Prayer, Devotion, and Journaling of the Day, but I want to come to you, um, and it's a book, uh, a, a chapter in, in Job. Uh, it's not Job, it's Job. You're probably at your job, but I want to come to you and talk to you um, from chapter 1, verse 13, and I'm going to paraphrase some of it, and then I, I, there's a few things I want to really highlight, but Job chapter 1 verse 13 and it goes now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house and there came a messenger um, to Job and he, he came to let Job know that his oxen his servants and everyone's been been destroyed it has been killed and and uh, Satan's taken over you know because this is about Job when Satan was allowed to touch Job's life and um, things were starting to be taken away in his life. Things were starting to happen in his life. Uh, it, it's it, it kind of like today, you know, it, there's things that kind of pile up and pile up. Things happen to us uh, over over uh, time and, and especially within the holidays. It, you can feel overwhelmed just like as Job is doing right now. Yeah, hey, look, his servant comes and, and they took and struck down the servants with the edge of the sword and, and alone have escaped to tell you. And this is the key Key, key words that I want us to focus on. In verse 16, while he was yet speaking, there came another and said. So while this one was telling Job all the devastation that happened to his ox, his, 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 all of his livestock and, and his children, his, his, I mean, his servants, it, all this, while this one was saying, look what happened. Here comes another one while he was yet speaking. Is that how the devil does with us is while we are still focused on what happened or this devastation or man, I got to buy this individual Christmas present. I got to go here. I got to do this. I got to do that. Uh, you, oh, my good. All this stuff starts overwhelming. Oh, I got this doctor's report. I, I, I hear this. Uh, that, oh, man, my marriage. You know, then while that is playing in your mind, he, here comes another one. And it says, you know, in verse 16, I'll read it again. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and, and consumed them, and alone have escaped to tell you. Huh. Verse 17, here's these words. While he was yet speaking, there came another and said, Oh, here comes another and said. Verse 18, after all this, verse 18, it says, while I alone have, you know, it says, while he was yet speaking, here came another and said, your sons and daughters were eating and drinking and here comes a wind and everything and, and, and it kills them. Three times while I was yet speaking. I, I know the holidays can get frustrating. I know that life can get kind of overwhelming. And while you're in the midst of digesting one thing, while you're digesting this, here comes another. While you're digesting, here comes another, because that's what Satan likes to do. Satan loves to throw so much on us that it doesn't, you know, Job didn't have a chance to catch his breath <sighs> and then think about it so he could stand and, and, and you know, kind of come up with, you know, how am I going to handle this? You know, let me stand for the Lord. He, he was overwhelmed. He, he, he one after another after another. And sometimes that's what life does to us. Life throws us those those things, those challenges. Satan throws those things at us where one after another after another. And it's like, you know what? Oh, man, I just feel overwhelmed. I feel overwhelmed. I don't even know what to do. And this is this is the good part. This is what I love. This is where it comes in good is is after all this. This is what in verse 20. Then Job arose and tore his robe. I'm not telling you to tear your robe and shaved his head. I'm not telling you shave his head, shave your head uh, and fell on the ground and worshiped. That's what I'm saying it is is he worshiped. And, and I love the next verses. And he said, Naked, I came from my brother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, I, I don't want you naked at your workplace. I don't need you naked anywhere else. That, that's not what I'm trying to say. No one needs to see that mess. No one wants that. But what I'm saying is when you get overwhelmed and you feel like it's one thing after another thing, you hear bad news from, from a family member, uh, something else is going on at work. It's just like, Lord, when is it going to end? When is it going to stop? I can't handle this. It's more than I can take. It's just time to step back. Worship the Lord. And, and, and just do exactly what Job says. The Lord gave, the Lord, the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord owns all things. The Lord gave all things. The Lord can do whatever he wants. Let me just step back, take a deep breath, and say, blessed be the name of the Lord. He is my I am. He is everything. Uh, you know what, Lord? Whatever you want in my life, whatever comes my way, Father God, you're the restorer, you're my salvation, you're my shield, you're my buckler, you're my strong tower, you're everything. You're everything that I need. I love you, and I'm just going to take this time. Whatever Satan wants, let, 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 it, let it be. Because Father God, you gave, and you can take, you can do all things. That means you can heal, you can restore, you can remove this burden. There's nothing that's too great for you. I might feel overwhelmed, but let me just take a deep breath. And say, blessed be your name, and I'm going to worship you and give time to you. That's just the PDJ, the thought of the day. Uh, I hope you can focus on that. I, I'm looking at several cameras here, but I, I want you to just, you know what, you might feel overwhelmed. You might feel like the holidays are coming up. Maybe this is the time uh, during the holidays that you feel overwhelmed with everything going on. Or I got to buy this one a present. I got to buy this a present. I got to buy oh, all my finances. How You know what, let, just take a deep breath and worship the Lord and let him guide and direct you. If you have to buy a present for someone to be your friend, well, you know what? Don't buy them a present and let them go be someone else's friend because that's not truly a friend. Uh, God wants you to do what you can do and not anymore. Not, so that just, you know what? Take a deep breath. Worship him. Give it to him. Uh, you know what? God doesn't want you getting debt over the holidays. He, you know what? The reason for the season is Jesus. And, and that's where we have to take a deep breath. Whew. And just realize that the reason for the season is Jesus. It's nothing else but Jesus. That's all it has to be. That's so simple. That is so simple. It takes a whole load off your shoulders. It takes a whole load off your mind. And it makes you feel better about the holidays. You know what? It, it, it's about love. It's about sharing love. It's about giving all. I'm giving God everything. And you know what? He, he's the one that gave. He's the one that can take away. He's the one that can do all things. But I know he is all capable. He is all powerful. He's all knowing. He's my I am. So I'm giving him the glory. I'm going to worship him. Blessed be his name. I love you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Father God, for this time of, of PDJ. And I just want to pray with you real quick. Uh, since we're live, I just want to pray blessings upon you. And, and just, you know what, that you, you worship and you give it to the Lord. Just bow your heads right there where you're at. You might be working. You can't. You're like, oh, my boss might be coming or whatever. You know, just, just sit there and keep working. But I want to pray with you. Lord, we just come to you and we thank you, Father God. Lord, no matter what comes upon us, Father God, you're still in control. You're my I am. You're my Lord. Lord, you're my Savior. You're all things. I'm asking you to remove the burdens from your sheep. I'm asking you to remove the burdens from uh, of the holidays upon the people, Father God, that the reason for the season is Jesus. Father God, that you gave and you can take away, you can do all things. But Father God, we know you're Jehovah and we ask you, to, Father God, to come in and do all things in our life. We thank you. We love you in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now stand strong. Keep praising. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Love you. This is the PDJ for the day, for the week, I should say. Just the thought of the day. Check us out on peakworship.com. Love you guys. And make sure you stay tuned to the website for all of our events coming up, the holiday events, everything. Love you guys. Enjoy the word of the day.